All right, coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. Drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown 5,000 times. Amazing. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no. I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting, as special as anybody in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Well, she's about as well-rounded as it gets, DC, and I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. The first day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to do a kickboxing match with the best kickboxer. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of eight wins, one loss, and one draw. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA, Cynthia Cavillo. And now introducing her opponent, fighting. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins, 4 losses. She stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Caitlin Blood-Fighter-Jukagia! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a very even matchup. Well, she's able to connect on a punch there, DC, really making good use of her reach advantage. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Well, you gotta stay busy from the bottom position. Can't falter here. She's doing a nice job. Calvillo's back in half court. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. It's just beautiful when it comes to the transition game. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, nice right hand, John. Able to 
check that kick as well. Oh, that's a nice strike. Calvillo gets in the clinch. Oh, beautiful hook pull there. Oh! Nice land there with the right punch. Easy to see why that is her weapon of choice. Great right hand. Nice land. So again, they will clinch here. You got to check these low leg kicks. Good spin. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for blonde fighter Caitlin Chukagin. All right, so she attempts to take down here. Decent entry, but not able to get the fight to the ground. She's having a difficult time securing the hip. Why not go up her body, try to engage in the clinch. Try to mix it up if you want to get these takedowns. Nice job to land the straight punch there. So you thought maybe she'd go for the takedown after catching the leg. Instead, decides to go back to her bread and butter with striking and certainly found the target there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Those hips and really dig that foot into the lead. Line. Dug it right into her opponent's thigh. Her opponent cannot take many more of these strikes. Y'all are just crazy for choosing this as, as a career. You can't just check those kicks. You better check those kicks. Ten seconds to go. Nice. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. We have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very easy. Liver kick. Pinpoint jab placement there, and a nice job to take advantage of her edge and reach. What a body shot. Nice punch man over the top. Again, back into this position. Big kick lands. Big bruise starting on the right side of her body. Not good. That is a thudding leg kick. Back in the clinch now. Holy smoke! Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Here. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be thrown. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. Leo's looking for that arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh. Nicely done. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Good, solid strike on the ground. Well, you gotta try to stay busy off of your back. She's doing it here. Nice punch. Calvillo, ground and pound from half guard now. She 
Williams trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by she the She got fighter. stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. Both fighters get up now. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really gonna take their toll as this fight moves on. Wow. What a round. Right, five minutes in the books as we take a look at the replays from that previous round. She can punch with anybody in this division. Yeah, with the best in this division and the best in any sport. She's a fantastic boxer. And you could see it in the amount of punches that she landed in that previous round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Good corner is able to relay that message to their fighter. It's better in the two rounds. And they separate. Oh, beautifully done there. She lands another strike to the body. What a punch. Well, we told you off the top. She's thrown tonight. Her opponents are beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of finding such a massive shot. Oh, nice right hand. DC for my money. Oh, huge right hand. She's gonna finish his fight. Looking for a guillotine. Oh, nice guillotine there. Denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transitions. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Right to side control, yep. Under two minutes to go in round three. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing this skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Oh, hammer fists and bunches here by Calvia. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Nice right hand. 20 seconds left. Able to land the single ground strike there. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still gonna get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. Nice. Excellent. She's ready to get knocked down again. I don't know how she survived that knockdown, but you're gonna go out there and you're not gonna... You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. Nice strike. Hey. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Calvillo's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. 
Well, she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday the double leg would be there. It was certainly there in that instance. J.A., she said they're not built like her. Right. They can't stand up to the freight train double, and she just got it off. Great job, great technique, great confidence in that position. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Oh, and she gives up her back here, DC. Not ideal. Not ideal. It's not ideal, but in this state, it's desperation a little bit. She's been getting battered. She's been getting bruised. She was mounted. What was she going to do? Stay on the bottom getting mounted and beat up? Or was she going to try to give her back to get to her feet? Now the journey, now the fight has really just begun because she has one of the best jiu-jitsu players in the entire world on her back. Good work here to the body on the ground by Calvia. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Oh, keep it busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty impressive ground and pound display here, champ. She's doing a great job of finding the right time to take her ground and pound opportunities. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that. Calvillo's looking for that arm triangle now. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Submission. Clearly, she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, let's check out some of the action in that previous round. DC, she certainly kept the stat trackers busy with all those takedowns. All those takedowns and some really nice takedowns. She did a great job of level changing, getting into her opponent, not allowing her opponent to defend before she can secure her takedown. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about for some time. Bruce Buffer has your decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, five seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, Cynthia Daville Well, it'll be standing room only at her after party tonight as she gets it done by way of submission. Thankfully, Daniel Cormier uh, is on the list. I'll be on the outside looking. I mean, John, I got you. We're going in together. I'm not going in without my partner. But, man, she's a great grappler. She understands positioning so well. And she knows the moment her opponent got out of position, she was able to attack her finish. Great job, great performance. I don't have enough words to say congratulations to this young lady.